it's not anything against Pennsylvania people. It's just that's how people are. Like where I used to live in Ohio, everyone was very uh, slow, slower than the Pennsylvania people, honestly. And they're also rednecks. And when you, you leave and go to some our place in Ohio that that talks really fast, like yeah, you have frustration trying to understand them but they actually use correct words they don't say ain't they they use aren't or they use real words but to where i used to live they said ain't i ain't got no time today or something like that which is funny because they're kind of racist but they're talking well i'm this sounds racist but uh, they're talking like uh dark-skinned people if that makes sense no offense just i'm just because dark-skinned and white people talk a little bit differently because they use different words, we use different words. They, well, I can't really say it. I kind of get why black people don't like the N-word. But, like they start being mean to us whenever we use the N-word, but then they turn up using the C-word. And then they don't think they're racist anymore. Which, that is, that's stupid, to be honest. Yeah, I get it. The N-word was used during slavery. It was bad. I agree with that. My family, when we the first thing we did, because we, we came from England, and the first thing we did was when the South and North War happened, we fought with the North. Now, we weren't even in America for a full month, and we went to war just because we thought slavery is a horrible thing. But the funny thing is, is slavery started in Africa. It is still happening now in Africa. But I'm not racist, which I don't think, I think if you hate someone because the color of skin or culture, I don't care if they're Muslim. Yeah, sure, Muslims commit more crimes and stuff, but there's always that one person that is good. You just have to seek them, you have to find them, or her. You just can't, you can't let everything just bother you. Just because, oh... And these Muslim people are celebrating they sing the Apple in France. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Like I agree, that's a horrible thing to celebrate. But then you have to look at it. You can't figure out why every country's mad at us. Oh my god, my changes went <laughs> I agree. Okay. You can't figure out why every country is literally mad at us. And, because we're the ones who started everything. <laughs> we started wars. We started wars with, uh, the Vietnam. We started wars with our countries. We started wars. We sent bombs. We killed innocent citizens in different countries. And you can't figure out why everyone is mad at us. Now, I'm not, I don't hate America. I, I, of course, I'm from America. I love my country. But... I think, um, I think America personally doesn't have as much freedom as we say we do. Because I went to Thailand, and they have a lot more freedom. But they're like the old America. The problem is, they're starting to come and become like America. Because they're following the rules and every law like America. Oh, I'm in a higher gear. I thought I'm probably flying. Well, I'm not really flying to some of the bikers out there, but for me, it's flying. I don't like speeding. I don't really like it. Like you can, I don't care. But for me, I don't like speeding. Now, just don't get mad at me because you have to pass me. Just don't get mad at me. Just don't flip me off because, oh, he's going 500 to speed limit. He's not going five over it. I don't know. That's Florida plates, huh? People from Florida and USA, eh? I'm honestly driving a little bit faster than I normally do just because I know you guys, they, they, you get bored of just me going five miles an hour down my freaking road. So I'll go 400 miles an hour. And I see older people, so I'm going to slow down. That way I don't fly by them.
Hi. I don't think they like me. <laughs> or at least I try to put an effort in it. Yeah, whenever I see people on the side of the road, I don't do this. I do the opposite. I, I slow down. Just in case you can't see my uh, steering wheel or anything, here you go, I sit back for you. Fast time. Fast time. Fast. Yeah, he's really fast. Lower gear. I make it over this. No way. That was a little. I made it over it, but it wasn't really easy. But I'm gonna go down it. Look, it's way steeper than it is on camera. Remember, this is me with a visor on. I can barely see. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I don't dig the cats. Whenever I see a cat, I just... Nye, 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 I'm going to come in after you and kill you. I kill you dead. So I read something new that was kind of interesting on Facebook. Really interesting. They are having... A Chinese eating dog thing in Hong Kong or something like that. I don't know. It's somewhere around Asia, China. It's all the same. But <laughs> that's racist. I, I'm just joking around. I know they're not the same thing. But they're, yeah, they're having a uh, Hong Kong or what? I don't know where it is exactly in China. I don't know. If Hong Kong's inside of China. It might be Taiwan. But yeah, they're having some kind of eating dog thingy majigger and there's 2,000 people mad about it what, what actually happens is in Thailand because Thailand they they love dogs the whole land has dogs there's dogs running around freely they don't have an owner they just run around they don't have kennels for them because they don't they don't believe in that they actually have a problem with Vietnamese people coming over there and killing them and eating them but Thailand people, they they are mad about that. They're not happy about that. Like, when I was in Thailand seven, eight months ago, uh, they they had this thing where they're eating dogs. Uh, I mean, Vietnamese like, stole over six to 8,000 dogs from Thailand. Because Thailand, again, they just let dogs run around everywhere. Like here, you don't see any dogs. But in Thailand, even in the countryside, you see a dog right there, you see a dog in every street corner, you see a pack of dogs.